<laughs> Hi friends, it's Papa Dale here again, and we are continuing on our series of Bible Nutshells, which is an investigation of the doctrines and teachings of the Historic Orthodox Evangelical Christian Church. And so today we have Bible Nutshell number 77, Repentance. This is just one of more than a hundred videos that I've created from articles that I wrote uh, on these topics. The purpose for creating this video playlist is uh, twofold. One, to edify the church and uh, so that people can have a nutshell version uh, of the truth about the doctrines and scriptures that underlie the basic Christian faith. And secondly, after the church is raptured, which I think is going to happen very soon, uh, there's going to be uh, an absence of a lot of people that have uh, very much in the way of background to be able to accurately teach about the scripture. And so the Holy Spirit can use this as a resource to direct those people to if he chooses. So who am I? My name is Papa Dale, and I am a retired pastor, teacher, evangelist, chaplain, <laughs> theologian, song leader, <laughs> janitor, <laughs> and businessman. I've done a lot of things in my 50 plus years of service to the Lord Jesus Christ. And, um, uh, I have a video that tells a little bit more about me than just that. It gives you a little background on my uh, family life, my education, my service history in the church, and so forth. And I recommend that anyone that you uh, listen to the teaching from about the Bible, that you do some investigation about them, make sure that they're not a false teacher, uh, and you can do that in part by knowing something of their background, but then most importantly, checking out whatever they're trying to teach you against what the Bible says. So, put on our glasses here so we can see our notes. And then here we go with Bible Nutshell number 77, Repentance. The Bible is the story of a self-centered race without gratitude and rebelling against their Creator and the Creator's actions to save, redeem, and restore them in spite of themselves. <laughs> Crazy. The redemptive process requires that people repent of their rebellion and turn to God and accept His headship. Nearly every book in the Bible tells the same repeated story about the failure and rebellion of these people. Called the Deuteronomic Cycle, the steps are rebellion, judgment, oppression, repentance, deliverance, and restoration. But because of man's sin nature and his inability to escape it, the cycle has repeated from the first entry of sin into our world over and over and over and over again for hundreds and hundreds of years. Repentance is an important response to God's gracious call to salvation. The forgiveness of sin is not automatic. Repentance is necessary. Simply put, repentance is turning from sin to Christ. Too many people say, oh, okay, I believe, but they don't repent. They say, oh, okay, yeah, Jesus Christ is... Uh, is the Savior of the world, but they don't repent. <laughs> they don't turn from their sin and turn to Christ to save them. That's the same as the demons who believe, but the scripture says they tremble, James 2.19, or the castaway supposed followers of Jesus, of whom Jesus says, quote, I never knew you. Matthew 7, 21. Repentance includes, one, taking responsibility for the fact that you're a sinner. Luke chapter 5, verse 8. Being remorseful. Luke chapter 18, 13. 
3. A turning away from one's sin toward Christ and a life that reflects lasting change. Acts 26, 15-20. 4. Making restitution for wrongdoings committed when it's possible. Luke 19, verse 8. The main message brought by men of God was always repent. In the New Testament alone we see John the Baptist said, Repent, in Matthew 3, 2. Jesus said, Repent, in Mark 1, 15. Peter said, Repent, in Acts 2, 38. Peter and John said, Repent, in Acts 8, 22. All the, all the disciples said, Repent, in Mark 6, 12. Paul said, Repent, in Acts 17, 30. And Jesus said, Repent. In Revelation 2.16, 2.21, 2.22, 3.3, and 3.19. Repentance is the human counterpart to God's... (coughs) Pardon me. (coughs) Start over. Repentance is the human counterpart to God's work of regeneration. In other words, the human side of our conversion. Quote, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Acts 3, 19. So repentance is an important part of the process of salvation. In fact, uh, Isaiah forty three twenty five, 25, uh, Yahweh speaks and says, I, even I, will blot out your transgressions for my own sake, and I will remember your sin no more. So it's not just because he loves us and wants to redeem us. There is a part of this process somehow that is for his own sake. And so God is an awesome God. He's just a wonderful, wonderful God. Well, those are my last thoughts on this this teaching, Bible Nutshell number 77, Repentance. And uh, down below this video, you'll find a section where you can leave comments, questions, prayer requests. You'll also see uh, a link to my YouTube page or my uh, Facebook page, Dale Warren at Facebook, where you can Leave, this, leave the same kinds of questions and comments. And there's also a link to the lesson notes that I just went through. And you can slow it down a bit and read through things and, and meditate and reflect on them. But also you find the different scripture verses that I've quoted. And you will be able to look them up in the Bible and, and examine them for yourself. Be a Berean who uh, those folks in Berea questioned the preaching of the Apostle Paul. They didn't take his word for it. (laughs) They went home and cracked open the scripture and and began to read to see if the things that Paul was telling them were so. And so you ought to do the same thing with any teacher, with me or any teacher. So that's it for this lesson. Uh, Bible Nutshell 77, Repentance. The next Bible Nutshell is going to be about faith, nutshell number 78, about faith. And so until that time, when I see you in the next video, this is your old friend Papa Dale signing off and saying, I'm going to be praying for you that you will be well and be blessed.